Hello everyone, it's the Naughty DGen here coming at you with another video. So I officially got to play the Skyweaver beta. I haven't played it a ton. I've only played against the bots or the computer so far, but I have had a lot of fun and I want to give my general thoughts on the game so far. Things I like, things I don't like, and I was coming from this from a place of I was a little bit skeptical of the game. Um, I wasn't like super hot on it. I was like, I'll give this a try. You know, um, it, it looks kind of fun. The graphics I thought at the beginning, you know, just from watching gameplay, I thought the graphics looked a little bit cheesy. But once I actually got into the game, I was like, these are decent graphics. You know, they're they're kind of unique. They're a little bit cartoony, but not in a, in a sense that it seems immature. OK, now this game, I think, offers a lot of depth. That's one thing that, you know, hit me right off the bat about it. It is not a game where there's only like so much to learn. Like there is a lot. There is so many different abilities. There are so many different enchantments and spells. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and I think this game offers a lot of like high end depth. So it's basically a game that will take a long time to master. And again, just putting this out that this video is not sponsored all right not sponsored by them at all um i just had played the beta and again i've only played the beta a little bit so i haven't played online i don't know how the balancing is yet i'm sure i'm sure with the game being in beta that there's some balancing issues all right there's probably a few things that are overpowered from playing against bots so far i would guess lifesteal probably seems a bit overpowered because you know when i was playing against the bots lifesteal was just like killing them and they could not you know i was just gaining health and gaining health and gaining health and there was nothing they could do um this game also offers a lot of like unique abilities that i haven't really seen too much of in like other trading card games or strategy games one of them was wither and wither was really cool because it basically is like if you attack a creature and your card has wither you not only hit their health but you also hit you, you hit their power too so you weaken the creature make them weaker and you take away their health and i haven't seen too much of that in other card games um so i thought that was really cool um there are things called spells and enchantments so a spell is a one-time thing you use it like do seven damage to the to an enemy creature or something like that right that's how a spell works an enchantment's a little bit different where an enchantment you could put on another creature and it will affect it either negatively or positively and there are a lot of spells that you could like it, it'll give you an option to either like buff your creature or hurt their creature or you could like if their creature has an ability on it you could lock that out i, I, I forgot the name of that but I it, maybe it was lead if I'm not, I'm not mistaken but yeah there's a lot to learn this game all right just you know coming at you from someone who's maybe played like 20 minutes of it half hour a lot to learn and if you're really into games that like take a while to master this definitely is a game for you okay you're gonna have to play at least three games versus the bots after the tutorials to unlock uh pvp so you could play against other people now with pvp there is conquest so you could you could compete for gold cards and then there is rank so you could uh, compete for with us uh, for silver silver cards and um again i have not played against any people yet i don't think i'm ready yet um but i may end up doing that on twitch so if you do want to see me try and compete do my best against some uh other people in skyweaver definitely follow my twitch in the description but yeah first impressions the game has a lot to offer it's a little bit confusing a little bit but again i've only just played like 20 minutes to a half hour all right there's a lot going on there is a lot of different things going on it's not something it's definitely has a lot more depth than most card games that i have played um even you know counting play to earn card games nft card games things like that it's not an immutable x a lot of the games i play are on immutable x but um you know it's it's on polygon you know it's not it's not something that's going to cost you a ton in fees as long as you're using um you know once your funds are already on polygon and bridged on there so definitely keep that in mind um if you want to see some gameplay on this make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a like my initial impressions of the game are positive if i were to give it a rating from one out of ten i would give it like an eight um i again i think there's just so much going on so much to offer so much to learn 
that uh, I, I think it's definitely worth playing. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to have time to play it because I do play other card games and I play other, you know, NFT games as well. So we'll see. Um, I am going to, you know, keep playing it today. So I'll, I'll have another video out later, uh, possibly this week, talking about, you know, more impressions. Maybe I'll do a video about things that I, I think should be improved. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share it. This is Skyweaver, and I will catch you next time. Have a great day, guys.